Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. So, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with evading the police and resisting arrest. Let's see here. I was on probation for an assault with a firearm. One night, I ran a stop sign. A police officer stopped me. I got scared and I ran from him. When I was finally stopped, I resisted arrest. Well, yeah, let's go back into that whole probation. You're on probation. Well, first of all, when you're on probation, when you're on probation and you violate the terms of your probation, you are facing the maximum punishment for the original charge. For instance, in this case, you were charged with assault with a deadly weapon, which is a violation of California Penal Code Section 245, parentheses A, parentheses 1, which carries up to four years state prison. It is a strike, and of course, because if they claim that you used a firearm, um, you could have a one to three year enhancement based on that. So you could be looking at five to seven years in state prison. Now, simply running a stop sign, that is an infraction that wouldn't have been the basis for them violating your probation and it wouldn't have been a big deal. However, however, uh, once you ran from the police, now we have a new problem because that is a crime. That would be the basis for a probation violation. Now, evading the police is something that, that could be charged as a felony or it could be charged as a misdemeanor, depending, depending on whether or not you are putting people's lives at risk. If you're putting people's lives at risk when you ran from the police, this would be a violation of vehicle code section 2800.2, uh, which is evading the police felony. This carries up to three years state prison. Now, on the other hand, if you were not putting the lives of other people at risk, because let's say there was no cars, it was you know four o'clock in the morning, the, the streets were empty and you just took off, generally speaking, that would be a misdemeanor under um, vehicle code section 2800.1, which carries up to six months in the county jail. Now, once you got stopped, it says right here, you have resisted arrest. Remember, here in the state of California, that is a misdemeanor under penal code section 148, parentheses A, parentheses one, which carries up to one year in county jail. Look, even if the police are wrong, let's say the police stop you, they detain you and they tell you, hey, you fit the description of somebody who got accused of a robbery. And you say, hey, I didn't do anything, leave me alone. And you run off, well, wait a second. They have the right to arrest you. They have the right to arrest you. You don't have the right to physically resist. You don't have the right to interfere with the work uh, with the work of the police, remember obstruction of justice. So you have to allow them, if they're gonna arrest you, you have to let them arrest you. And then they have to do their investigation and figure out that it wasn't you. Remember, um, th this sounds like a situation where you know you, you turned a really, really small thing into something really big because now you're in violation of probation, you potentially committed a felony evading the police, and now we're talking about uh, resisting arrest, which adds an additional year of punishment. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who got accused of raping a minor. Criminal lawyer, criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.